we've got a new package arrived. Let's grab a knife. Well, it says fragile, but it looks like it had a bit of a hard life. Can you guess what it is? Hey everybody, welcome back. What's up everyone who likes to build stuff? Uh, this is my 180SX, which I've had for a couple of years now. Uh, I drove it around for about six months, but other than that, it's been, other than that, it's pretty much been set up uh, for most of the time. This is a, a Type X model. Well, in fact, actually it's probably, it's officially known as a Type S model, because this is a SR20DE and runs an automatic gearbox. Um, but we're gonna be changing all that and putting an RB engine into this later on. Um, but for now, we're going to do some body kit mods to it. So it has the corky kit on it, but it doesn't come with the, the front lip or the rear lip kit. So I bought this kit here. So it's a four piece and consists of the front lip, which is all one piece, the two rear side spats and the middle part. It's from a company called Biber, 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 Biber Kits. Yep. Um, I haven't used this stuff before, but I've heard good stuff. In fact, I think, I'm pretty sure that our R32 uses the same uh, manufacturer body kit, and that fits pretty well. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a uh, good results with this one. So the first thing for us to do is to get this front lip mounted up. Uh, the temptation would be to get everything sprayed first and then mount it. Trouble is, if you need to move anything or fettle it about, you might damage the, the paint. So we're gonna mock it up make sure we get all our mounting points in the right place and drilled uh, properly so it's nice and sturdy and then we'll take it off, prep it for paint and do a few little, uh, little repairs where, the, where there's some chips on the kit as well. Well this is just mocked up on here and I've got to say it's a real nice tight fit. Um, you could run this pretty happily as it sits without any sort of mounting hardware and uh, other than a bit of movement uh, up and down, I don't think you're gonna. I don't think it's ever gonna come off. But obviously, we want to make sure this kit is absolutely sturdy, so we are going to uh, mount it up. So what I've done is I've taken off all the nuts that run along the bottom here and hold the under tray in place, because those are the ones that fix up with these tabs. Uh, so I've taken away the ones that line up with the tabs. Uh, the middle two we're not going to use purely just because they're um, all rusted out and broken so we won't bother putting those back in but the side ones will be absolutely fine to hold it all in place. And on the end here I've drilled a hole in the kit approximately the same size each side and then what I'm going to do is mark that up on the back here and I'll use a little um, pan headed uh, nut that goes into this, um, it's like a like a squish riv nut. Uh, basically you put it in place and as this tightens up it will then squish it uh, together to keep it nice and in so it's nice and neat and also uh, not too much showing on this side. So all you'll see is the washer and the pan nut on this side just to give it enough coverage just to hold it in place. So what I'm gonna do is push this up into where I want it, mark that out, drill these up and then we'll go in underneath where the um, under tray would be and mark the holes on those bottom lips. So we have a nut set placed in there and it's much more temporary fit than say a riv nut where you can just literally pop it in place. This is all plastic so nothing needs uh, sealing up and we've also got our markings on the uh, bits where we're going to drill. We'll drill them to the furthest front point so we get a nice tight fit so it pushes it back in place. So the front is on there and secured and looking good. So I'm going to do a similar sort of thing with the back and tape up the uh, bits around the edges. And I will sort out the mountings on the back here first. There's actually a couple of little tabs on here which are OE tabs. So we'll try and use those where we can without having to drill any more into the bodywork. Um, 
so we can mark out the holes on the back using the holes that are in here, drill holes to the right size and fit that into place. And then once that's in place, we'll use this tab here to go up through the bottom. Now, I think one of the ways of doing this is drilling up through the bottom here, making a bigger hole and going up through, or we might see if we could just get in there from the inside and screw something up and secure something up maybe with a, um, a nut type uh, head screw on the end there, or maybe even the Allen key type ones. But uh, first of all, definitely need to get this in place first. panels fitted up on the side here there's a bit of a gap but I think I can work that out with the um, mounting point that's in here these are just like a metal tab that comes down we can bend that back in and then mount it up a bit higher on the end here I've used the nut certs and an M4 um, bolt with a washer just to push through there so that holds that quite nicely in place I will put a bit of 3M double-sided sticky in here just to hold that all in place once this is painted for the center section we've got a couple of supporting bits on each side here so the one up by the exhaust so if you can see underneath here we've got these tabs here that go up and hold to the original bumper mountings which is quite handy so instead of using the screws that came with the original bumper mountings what i've done is i've used those m4s as well uh, with a nut set to go in there just to give it a bit more room and a bit more forgiving that way i've got a bit of adjustment so i can put it in and then just elongate the hole and push it upwards if i need to uh, to make it fit a bit better so we've done that all the way along and again we could probably sort of work this this bit out with a with a, a tab to hold it up in place so all will it's not too bad to fit in all the way along there uh, the other side fits real nicely here but we've got a bit of a gap here which i think again we'll be working out with uh, some m3 tape to go across there and hold that in place just need to have something to be able to be able to clamp it to on the other side so now it's time to whip all this off and prep it for some paint. So the kit is off the car and there's just a couple of bits I want to give some special attention to here. Here, So what I'm using is this gold line carbon black. It's like a fiberglass type filler. Uh, just mix it up with a normal resin and mix it together and uh, just like a, a body filler really but it's got fiberglass in it as well. Nice and easy to sand but still really really strong. Um, so we'll just do these bits and a couple other little bits on the kit here. I just want to give a bit of love to where we fit it on and off and it's just cracked a little bit just to strengthen it up. So the kit's all prepared and what I've done is I've rubbed it down with some 320 and um, then just make sure it's all nice and smooth. I also went over it with some thinners just to um, take off any dust and anything that sits on it. So now it's all nice and nice and rubbed down, nice and keyed and nice and clean. So I'm gonna go over it with a couple of coats of primer and then a few coats of the color and then a few coats of lacquer. So the kit is all painted up, uh, ignore that one, that's for the 34, you'll see that another time. So the kit we sprayed here is just a rough spray uh, to get it to match the same colour, just so when it's on it looks like it's meant to be on the car. Um, but what we'll do is once the engine transplant is done uh, and the RB's in there, we will then um, probably get the car to a body shop and get it a full spray over because a lot of it needs redoing, the spoiler and side bits and stuff just need redoing. So um, it needs a bit of love, so we'll sort that out afterwards, but for now, I'm just going to wipe this on.
all on and looking smart. Um, there's a nice tight fit on the front lip and on the uh, driver's side of the rear. Uh, the middle spat on the rear and the other side spat. Try to have a bit more of a play with to get see if I can get them to tighten up a little bit more. But uh, colour match is actually looking pretty good for something that was done in the garden. And it's got a few flies and things in, but uh, yeah, it's looking looking pretty smart. So I'm gonna give it a wash, charge up the battery, take it for a spin for some some uh, nice shots. Okay.